Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel. In today's video, I will discuss some of the body-based techniques that you can use to quickly calm your nervous system. If you've watched some of my earlier videos, you will know that I talk with my clients a lot about neurobiology and specifically about the brain-body connection. For a long time, psychologists have asserted that in order to feel better, we have to change the way we think, and that can certainly be true. However, we now know that calming the body also calms the brain, and this process is far faster and more efficient than the reverse. In fact, for every one signal that your brain sends to your body, your body is sending four signals up to your brain. So although you can try to get your body to calm down by changing the thoughts from your brain, it is far more efficient and effective to work on your body to calm your brain down. I think of cognitive work as a one lane country road and body calming as a four lane highway. One just is gonna get you to your destination faster. But how do we go about using our bodies to calm our brains? So by far the most commonly used body-based calming method is breathing. Breathing in speeds your heart rate and stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, which brings on fight or flight. Breathing out calms your nervous system and brings on rest and digest. So I like to teach my clients 711 breathing, which helps us calm down when we are amped up. It is breathing in for seven beats and out for 11. So let's do this together right now. So we're gonna start with seven beats in, breathe in two, three, four, five, six, seven, and out two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Do this style of breathing until your nervous system starts to calm down. If you have depressed or unmotivated clients, you can reverse that to do 11-7 breathing, which helps to stimulate more energy. If your nervous system is too amped up to even get to a count of seven in, um, breathe in fully, and then take one more quick breath in, and then breathe out for as long as you possibly can. Okay, so now we're gonna do a quick body check-in. Just close your eyes and take several deep breaths. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And again, in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you do this with your eyes closed, think about how you are feeling right now and specifically where you are feeling that emotion in your body. For example, if you're anxious, do you feel your shoulders are tense? Do you feel a buzzing in your chest? Is your jaw clenched? If you're feeling sad, do you feel pressure in your stomach or in your chest? If you're angry, do you feel that in your arms or in your throat? With my clients, we try to locate the feelings and then put those feelings into words and the more granular, the better. Instead of just angry, we dig beyond that to frustrated, hopeless, or irritable. As Dan Siegel says, for an emotion, you have to name it to tame it. Okay, so I teach my clients a variety of body-based calming methods. If you're nervous for a test, worried about a friend, or amped up during a fight with your spouse, how do you get to a point where you're thinking and feeling at the same time? How do you use your body to quickly calm yourself down? So I'd like to give three options since everyone's different and has different preferences. And the first is the heart hold. So put one hand on top of the other right in the middle of your chest and apply a little pressure. So this is called the heart hold, but I like to call it a self hug. It lights up the same part of your brain that lights up when you receive a hug. The next is the gamut point. So on the outside of your hand between your ring finger and your pinky, just under the knuckles is a triangular shaped depression called the gamut point. So rubbing this will help to calm your nervous system. And finally, the sore spot. So below your collarbone and outside of your pectoral muscles is a spot that's a little sore when you press on it. Did you find it? For women, it's kind of under the bra strap. So you can tap the sore spot to regulate your emotions. So those are just three, heart hold, gamut point, and sore spot. And the truth is you can hold or rub or tap any of these points and still have it be effective. Body-based calming is not particularly precise, but it is very personal. You just have to figure out what works best for you. If you're at all curious about why these work, 
Each of these techniques stimulates the ventral part of the vagus nerve, which turns on the parasympathetic part of your nervous system and brings you back into a state of rest and digest. In addition, any body, body touch at all produces oxytocin, which is also called the trust or cuddle hormone. Simply put, these techniques turn off your fight or flight response. So I encourage you to use each of these over the next week when big feelings come up and see which one works best to bring you back to a state of calm. So if you experience severe anxiety or panic attacks, I like to recommend the mammalian diving reflex. All vertebrates, not just mammals, respond to this. If a vertebrate is entirely submerged in water, it will shut down its nervous system immediately. Fight or, fight or flight mode takes a lot of energy and our bodies instinct, instinctively know that if we are drowning, we need to conserve our energy for survival so it will turn off fight or flight. So to trick your brains into thinking that you're drowning, you're gonna fill up a bowl with some cold water and add ice cubes and then immerse your whole face in the water for a count of 15 to 30 seconds. Usually this works in one try, but you can use it as many times as you need to. I have a client who used to wake up every morning in a full-blown panic attack, and she would need to do this three times just to get herself into a car to drive to work. As an aside, she's no longer at that job. Her nervous system finally convinced her that she might want to do something else for a living. Okay, so there's a YouTube video of a polar bear that is shot with a tranquilizer gun, and then he's examined and poked and prodded for testing purposes. It's an intensely traumatic experience for him. Once the tranquilizer starts to wear off, the polar bear's nervous system makes him shake violently. Watching it is kind of awful, but really it's a super healthy way for him to discharge all of that adrenaline, energy, and trauma that he just experienced. Once he stops shaking, he takes a couple of incredibly deep breaths, sleeps it off for a little while, and then he's able to just walk away like nothing ever happened. And it makes you wonder, what if it were more socially acceptable for human beings to shake, cry, and run around like crazy people? Would we have less bodily held trauma? I think so. So I encourage you all when it's possible to shake off your anxiety, anger, or fear, just like a polar bear. I have done this. I had an incredibly escalated event with a family member about two months ago. I removed myself from the situation, literally shook myself all over like a polar bear, and I kid you not, my prefrontal cortex came back online in 45 seconds. It worked so quickly that I was honestly shocked. So I have a ton more of these techniques, um, so I'm gonna, probably going to have to do another video, but I have to do a plug for my absolute favorite body-based calming method, EFT tapping. Tapping is great because it's a technique that brings together feeling intense emotion with body-based calming and cognitive emotional regulation. You can just use it to calm down, but you can also use it to process emotions more efficiently, learn about what's really bothering you, and reconsolidate traumatic memories. It's amazing, and I try to do it most days just to keep my nervous system tuned up and process my feelings. I have a whole series on EFT tapping, so check that out if you are interested. Okay, so just to review all the techniques we talked about, 7 breathing calms you down, 11-7 breathing gives you energy. Regularly checking in with your body helps you to locate your emotions and name them to tame them. Three body-based calming areas to hold, tap, or rub are the heart hold, the gamut point, and the sore spot. Dunking your face in ice water and holding your breath is called the mammalian diving reflex, and it works for panic attacks and anxiety. And the polar bear shake discharges trauma and big emotion. And finally, EFT tapping brings together intense emotion, body-based calming, and cognitive emotional regulation to reprocess memories or quickly work through negative feelings. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.